You've probably seen it in the gym before, but you may not know how to perform the spider curl for yourself. Here's how to execute the movement properly. To perform the spider curl, you will need a few specific pieces of equipment. First, get yourself an adjustable weight bench. This is critical. You will also want a pair of dumbbells. You can certainly perform the spider curl with different types of equipment, but dumbbells are generally going to be your default. First, adjust the backrest of weight bench such as uh, that it's between 30 and 60 degrees relative to the floor. You will want to find an angle that allows your arm to hang straight down without causing any shoulder discomfort. Once your bench is set up properly, grab a pair of dumbbells and lean your torso against the backrest. Your arms should hang straight down at your sides. Ensure the weights you are holding can easily clear the frame of the bench. Once you are set up, begin the spider curl by bending your elbow to draw the weights upward. Squeeze your biceps hard and curl until your forearm is at least parallel with the floor. Hold for a bit at the top and then slowly lower the weights back down. Your upper arm should remain static the entire time. Avoid letting your arm or elbow drift backward as you curl. I suggest you tuck your elbows into the sides of the bench. Fortunately, the spider curl doesn't have that many moving parts to it. It may not be as technically demanding as a large compound movement, but you need to ensure that your arm stays put where it belongs. If you work with weights that are too heavy, you may find yourself cheating the exercise by dragging your arm backward while you curl and the help of your shoulders when trying to curl the weight up. This defeats the specific purpose of the spider curl altogether. As mentioned before, you can use a barbell or an EZ bar. It's okay to play around and keep variability with this exercise. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Until next time, take care.